YouTube, welcome back to Charles's Toy Room. Oh, crap, it's Movie Room now. That's, oh, I'm just kidding. I know the name of my own channel. I'm just kidding around. Of course, today's video is going to be a little bit of a rambling series thing here. I just got to get some stuff out see what your opinions are. I've been thinking a lot lately about everything that I collect, the amount of money I'm spending on my collection, which I'm sure is something people do with, but really... I also been thinking about rearranging them stuff. I got all these Funko Pops back here. They look awesome. They're all exclusives. Um, for the most part, I have one or I have a couple that I may have bought. In. But most of my superhero pops are exclusives. And there's stuff I want to keep. But I also think that this shelf back here would be a good space to put my board games and then move these Funko Pops. I have a closet slash pantry area that they could fit in a little better. It wouldn't be out on display, but people don't really come in this room anyway, to, so no one really ever sees them. Um, so that's why I'm thinking about doing that as well. Um, but I've also been thinking about all the stuff that I collect. I mean, just, thinking of, just looking at my channel um, here on YouTube, I started doing Legos. That was the big thing. I introduced Funko Pops early on in the channel, and I moved. When I moved job, I then kind of got more into comic books doing single issues and that's some of that I do regret because I got six boxes of comic books and nothing to do with them they just kind of sit around um and then doing still Lego stuff a lot more Funko Pop stuff um a little board game stuff I had a lot of Dice Master stuff in too that kind of got added in I did some Magic in the Gathering stuff as well um, and then I moved again, and then I got done with comic books because I was done reading single issues. It just backed up. It was so much stuff. I made the decision that I want to go strictly to trade paperback collecting, which is what I do now. And then um, still did Funko Pops, and then have added Blu-rays to the channel, and now I switched my name to Movie Room. That's a lot of stuff to collect. It's a lot of stuff to do. I'm trying to figure out... Um, if I could maybe go without those one of those for a, for a while, I'm thinking um, about that. I don't really buy Funko Pops anymore, so I have the collection where it's added their stuff I want, I'll buy it, but I can't tell you the last time I actually bought a Funko Pop and didn't come in an actual subscription box type. Um, Blu rays are kind of my big thing right now. Um, I'm going to challenge myself to not buy so many blu-rays i'm probably not gonna not say to buy any but not to buy so many until i'm able to watch some of the movies that i have that i haven't even watched um that's kind of what i want to do um and kind of challenge myself to maybe buy a new release if i really want it or if, I, if there's something exclusive that comes out like disney movie club but to not buy so much volume and just sit it, just have it sit around. I'm running out of room for those anyway. Come out of it, able to watch some of my st the movies I already have because that's part of the problem. Just says I don't watch it. And another collection that's outgrowing itself and will continue outgrowing myself because I have a love of Kickstarter is board games. I'm gonna be in the process. Uh, the next few videos after this will be me opening board games. Now this is already open. The seal is off of it, but inside. All the plastic and stuff is in there. If I if I truly remove my board games, which I'm probably gonna do, um, as this is part of the process, when someone goes and grabs a board game, I want them to be able to play it. I don't want them to have to open the cards, open, punch out all the stuff. So I'm gonna do that, and we're gonna learn what these games actually are. Some of these have come from board game Bento, so I have no idea what they are. Some of them I bought, I do know what they are. So the next three videos are gonna be. I have stacks of five or six board games. We're going to open them, go through, figure out what they're about, how to play them. So if you love board games, stay tuned to those videos. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below. Do you have too many things you want to collect? Do you have any too many things that you do collect? Um, what, what do you think about my challenge? Let me know all that stuff. Stay tuned. A lot of more great videos coming. If I do do this little challenge, I'm probably going to do a Blu-ray collection video. And then I might also do a some challenge videos, updating on movies I've watched, doing some reviews, more stuff like that as well. Of course, we always have a lot of board game stuff because, like I said, Kickstarter is kind of my crush right now. I really enjoy getting games. Like Kickstarter, you have a lot, great way to get a lot of exclusives and stuff. And then I have a lot of games that hopefully are finally going to be paid off. And so I'm going to have a lot of stuff coming in to talk about and show off. And so, yeah. A lot of great stuff. Thank you so much for subscribing and supporting me through all of this craziness that I love to collect and talk about. 
Um, but yeah, stay tuned for all of the board game videos. There'll be three of them. Um, I might do a collection once I get them all moved over. Should also do a Funko Pop collection video once if I'm gonna move these, but we'll see. I don't know about that. All right, well that's enough rambling for me. I'm gonna see Han Solo tonight, so I got my Star Wars shirt on. Um, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.